Hey, my mans, how are you today? Oh, also, happy New Year's. So, I went on a short holiday to Byron Bay, and for me, it was quite special. So, I decided to film a little bit of it, but I didn't get everything. And I'd just like to share it with you anyway. So, the trip started out with our drive that I didn't get any footage for, so here's the route we took. The fastest route was still 10 and a half hours, but we got there in the end. When we got to the beach, we were finally able to get an enjoyable rest. The first thing that happened when we got to the beach was that tadpole just ran away, never to be seen again. Yep, swallowed by the ocean. Or so I thought. Turns out she's quite talented at not drowning herself. Proud of her. And this is Panda. Her trip consisted of being harassed by tadpole the whole time. When I first threw Panda's ball, Tadpole took it instead. So Panda didn't want to talk to me for a while after that. At this point, I decided that I was just going to take my phone to the water with me. And I almost dropped it straight away. Uh, Cause that's what I do. Tadpole came to swim with me, but it was a bit too deep for her. So I saved the princess and took her back to shallower waters. Just before we left, I wanted to do a cool video, but instead I just fell and sat there. When we got home, we bathed the girls, uh, and Tapa was really tired, and Panda doesn't like baths, so she was quite upset with us bathing her, and she just gave us attitude for like an hour. That evening, I made her feel better by taking her on a walk. You ready for a walk? A walk? You ready for a walk? I don't go for a walk. Tapo, you don't care about the walk? Panda. Panda, you want to go for a walk? Let's go. Let's go. You see, but during the walk, I came back with another dog. Yeah, this guy. He's pretty cool. Uh, he didn't have a name tag on his collar, so I took him home so we'd be off the streets. I thought I'd just gotten a free dog, but Evie convinced me that we had to find his home. So we clipped up the good boy and took him for a walk, in hopes of him leading us back to his home. Part of the way through, a nice man lent us his umbrella because it started raining. I did return the umbrella when we finished, but the man that gave it to me spooked me. Okay, so there you are. Turns out this dog just took us for a walk, didn't take us anywhere, so we took a photo and put him online, and then we found out his name. Roger? Hi! I took Roger after we contacted his owner back home and Evie sent me to the wrong address before I actually got to the right address and dropped him home. Which is fine. <laughs> I woke up in the morning and Evie broke the news that she didn't like Shrek to me. Yeah, and I almost broke into tears. And I'm putting a new application out for my girlfriend if anyone wants to apply. But then Tadpole made me feel better by showing me how she likes to get groomed. And then showing me a little dancey dance, which we were all very impressed by. Panda also showed us how crazy she, should, she could get, and Tadpole was very impressed. Panda, you good? We went out for breakfast, which was delightful, and there we met Roman. Roman the Romantic. See, see, see what I did there? Then we went to the beach and had more fun. Tadpole didn't get the ball for once because she was too busy drowning, 
but Panda didn't give me the ball back. Then we played some volleyball, where you could tell that Bonnie watched a lot of haiku. Go up, Tapo, you can do it. Other leg, you got it, other leg. Other leg. Tapo, get in the car, in the car. go, go. Go, Tapo. Wow. In the morning, I was awoken by Evie's hunger for an up and go. Then I went. Then we went to her mum's Airbnb, where we sat in a love sack. We went to a little fair. It wasn't special, but it was cute. And straight after that, we went to the beach. This was my favourite beach so far because it had wait for it a shower, and I could get all the sand off me before getting in the car. I also had my breast fondled shortly after. In the next few days, we just spent walking the dogs and watching some shows. And on the day we left, I looked after the dogs whilst the others had a massage, where I also got salt and vinegar in my eyes. As you could probably tell, I wasn't just crying for no reason like normal. We stayed halfway at Port Macquarie and had this lovely bougie dinner. And then this meringue nest, which was amazing. Oh, and also, I was on the menu apparently. When we got to the Airbnb, Tadpole was trying to kill Haku, the lake spirit. Tadpole, you got Haku. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. Kill Haku. Oh, ouch. Kill him. Oh, absolutely murder him. Murder him. Yeah! R.I.P. Haku. And that was our trip. So, thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a lovely rest of the day. Cheers. I'm okay.